Hi there, I'm Jason DeSalvo. This is Joey Loricella from Federa Guitars, and we are here today to talk to you about the Emperor 5 standard. Uh, the Emperor 5 standard is one of our best selling instruments. It is meant to be an all around five string instrument that you can take to any gig uh, and be able to work with it to get the tones that you need to make whatever music you're playing. Uh, we did that by using some specifications that are very commonly asked for 34 inch scale, 19 millimeter spacing. And then we blended some woods together that balance each other really well. We have an ash body, one piece ash body, a one piece quarter sawn maple neck, and then we use an old growth pal ferro fingerboard. And we find that those three woods together give a tonal range that's broad enough that allows you to kind of choose how you want to sound. Uh, Joey's going to take us through the electronics. The Emperor 5 standard electronics it features a massive volume, an active passive tone roll off. Right? When it's on, open, the bass is bright, you want to cut treble, you can cut treble. Uh, pan pot, forward, neck pickup, in the center both pickups, in the back is a bridge pickup. Active, treble, bass, and mid-range, cut and boost. Active passive switch, and a coil tap switch. Up to coil tap, it puts the bass in single coil mode, down it's in humbucking mode, and it's an 18 volt system. This has our Federa uh, locking bridge. You can adjust the string basing side to side. If you want to take it a little in or go out to 20 millimeters, you could do that on this bridge also. Bridge is uh, machine brass and uh, stainless steel pins that the strings sit on. The uh, string spacing at the nut is one and seven eighths, which is a co very comfortable spacing. And the one piece next gives, gives the instrument a very direct sound very direct for the guys a lot some guys that play bolt-ons there's only they only want a bolt-on because a bolt-on one piece neck has back. a certain sound you can see there's the which this has neck. yeah this is the bolt-on and uh it's great i play a bolt-on my main instrument's a bolt-on so check it out so let's uh have matt come over and play some for you and let you hear what this thing sounds like we hope that you have as much fun playing one of these or listening to one of these as we do making them um and thanks a lot for joining us here at Federa.com. So, uh, you know, in regards to the EQ section, uh, it has the same layout as the Monarch. And uh, here's your mids, the trebles on the top pot, and bases on the bottom. Uh, incredibly effective, of course, in terms of, you know, I, I tend to talk about these instruments also, not only on stage, but in the studio. You know, in terms of preamplifiers, sometimes you get into studios with fancy stuff and the engineers like you to plug into all their fancy stuff. Not necessarily with these instruments at all, either one of them, uh, the MG Standard or, you know, the Monarch or this Emperor. Um, they, you, these are plug and play, you know, and they sound incredible right out of, right out, right out of the, the box. So, you know, and that's, very much due to the preamp section and the EQ section that you have on the instrument. So again, the very powerful, it's almost not recommended to uh, boost the, le the low end all the way up unless you really need it, but it's there. So, so uh, there's some further tweaking that you can do on in the inside of the instrument if you need to uh, cut some of those frequencies. But, you know, again, it's all there for you. Uh, let's see. You know, in terms of uh, um, you know, Um, this definitely for pop oriented this is a this would be a bass I would bring on the road to be honest because it would you can cover a lot of ground with it 
But then again, you know, if you just do a little bit of VQ and tweaking, this is... This is... Uh, it's a very comfortable instrument to play if you want to get into some more, you know, fingerstyle jazz related stuff. Um, Maybe for some chords. So, you know, you want to get into more of the other stuff too, it's great for that. Let's see if we can get a nice slap texture out of that. I'll put the two pickups on, then I'll do a coil tap. I'll boost the, the treble. Right. Um, and I'll pull in some low end. That actually, uh, the coil tap sounds great also for finger stuff. Both slap and, and, and uh, you know, pizzicato. So, what else? You know, those are some of the details of the instrument. Um, again, pretty much, pretty much like every Fodera, any bass you pick up, you, you know, unless you're looking for like a very different tonal palette and you know we're talking you know going to a fretless versus playing an instrument maybe with a higher string versus playing an instrument with a lower string they pretty much all do what you need you know each one of these instruments of course again the main distinction would be between fretted and fretless but you know if you had the mg standard or the emperor they're doing exactly the same process One's a little bit more geared, perhaps, for some faster moving things. You know, it's, um, they're, they're different instruments in that sense, from a construction standpoint, and also from, a, you know, from left hand movement, and also, of course, right hand pizzicato stuff. But you know, in in both of the cases of the fretted instruments, they do the exact same thing. So, uh, you know, they're made for every genre of music and. Uh, you shouldn't shy away from any one of them for any particular reason if you're thinking that one style fits, you know, a, a bass fits more one style versus another because that's really not the case. It really has to do with how you're going to play the instrument in relation to the music that, you know, the project that you're working on. So anyway, that's that with the uh, Emperor, another amazing instrument by Fodera. Made in Brooklyn, yes! <laughs>